today we going to discuss about embryological evidences evidences for biological evolution in evolution so in previous classes we have studied about the paleontological evidences and the anatomical evidences a comparative study you have seen and today you going to discuss about the embryological evidences embryology deals with the study of development of individual from egg to the adult stage so the cells how the cells are formed from the uh, single cell to multicellular organisms that the developmental stage from egg egg to the adult stage that you going to see in the embryo so embryology is the study of the development from egg to the adult stage a detailed study of embryonic development of different forms makes us to think that there is a close resemblance during the development so in the embryonic development there is that is in in, in embryonic development of various forms shows a close resemblance during the developmental stages so the development of heart in all vertebrates follow the same pattern of development as a pair of tubular structures that evolution embryological evidences 98 later developed into two chambers heart in fishes three chamber heart in amphioxus and in most reptiles and four chamber in crocodiles birds and mammals indicate the common ancestry for all vertebrates that is the development was similar and in all vertebrates the heart has a the the heart development is same okay there are some of the evidences in the embryological stage in fishes it is two chamber and three chamber in amphibians and most of the reptiles and four chamber in crocodiles birds mammals okay so that means they have evolved from the common ancestor that all vertebrates have evolved from the common ancestor hence the scientists in 19th century concluded that higher animals during their embryonic development pass through the stages of lower animals so the higher animals during the embryonic that is embryonic development they passes through the lower animals okay so the lower animals are the ancestors to the highly advanced animals and then there is ernest von herkel perform the biogenetic law or theory of recapitulation which states that the life history of an individual that is ontogeny that is the embryo that is the embryonic development that is called ontogenic briefly repeats or recapitulates the evolutionary history of the race phylogeny so the ontogeny recapitulate the phylogeny so re, phylogeny is the history of the hair okay an ontogeny is the history of the embryonic development of the organism okay so the embryonic stages of higher animals resembles the adult stages of its ancestors so the adult stages of the ancestors means the lower animals adult stage that resemble that was resembled by the higher animals embryonic developmental stages okay the appearance of pharyngeal gill slits yolk sac and appearance of tail in human embryos are some of the examples so pharyngeal gill slits yolk sac and appearance of tail in human embryos so these are the ancestral uh, organs that has been seen in the embryonic stage of humans the biogenetic law is not universal and it is now thought that animals do not recapitulate the adult stage of any ancestors because this law was not accepted and it is not universal also because some of the animal doesn't show this recapitulation that is they are not recapitulating their ancestors so the human embryo recapitulate the embryonic history and not the adult history of the organisms so it recapitulating the embryonic history only not the adult history it is not recapitulating only the embryonic development it is showing the history so the comparative study of embryos of different animals shows structural similarities among themselves so the embryonic development of different animals shows their structural uh, development are same okay the structural development in the embryonic stage they are same so they are same and they have a some they, they are correlating with there is they can we can while comparing it we can able to see the similarities 
of the embryonic development. So the embryo of fish, salamander, tortoise, chick and human start life as a single cell. The zygote and undergo cleavage to produce bastula and change to gastula or triploblastic. So the embryonic stages that is from fish, salamander and human beings and the chick. It starts its life from the single cell only. We also come from the single cell only. The single cell forms the zygote. The zygote forms the blastula and the blastula's next stage is gastula stage. Okay. So that means in the, in the gastula stage you have three layers. That is called triploblastic layer. So like that only we have developed them. This indicates that all the said animals have evolved from a common ancestor. So the said animals are evolved from a common ancestor only because their development is same. So you can see here the fish, that is the fish's stages, various stages. This is, uh, uh, the, that is from this only this has evolved and this is the fish stage. Okay. So this is embryonic stage, the next stage and the next stage. So for all the animals, this is salamander and this is uh, tortoise and chick and human. So more or less they are resembling the same one while, while they are in the embry embryonic development. That only the embryonic, that is... Uh, uh, evidences are giving you you can see this two are same no this two are same even this one is the ours is also more or less same and here it is same so so the more or less they are same only on the embryonic development okay so this shows the embryonic evidences for biological evolution next molecular evidences Molecular evidences is the process of changes in the sequence composition of molecules such as DNA, RNA and protein across the generations. So molecular changes, the evidences means the evolution, how it takes place. It takes place through the DNA, RNA and proteins. As we have discussed about the urea millers, where the ammonia gases, there are some of the gases which going to form that is during that they collect the sample. In the sample they had uh, some of the amino acids and nitrogen bases and due to, uh, based on that experiment we have concluded that the first genetic material is RNA and it was replaced by DNA. So like that the replacement can be takes place. So it uses the principle of evolutionary biology uh, and the population genetics to explain the patterns in the changes of molecules. So they used the, ch the change of pattern to be explained with the help of evolutionary biology and population genetics. So one of the most useful advancement in the development of molecular biology is protein and other molecules that control the life process are conserved among the species. So even the proteins and other molecules are also controlling the life. So that was identified. A slight change that occurs over time in these conserved molecules, DNA, RNA and proteins are called molecular clock. So there is a slight change in the molecules that is RNA or DNA or a proteins. So that can be that slight change can be called as molecular clock. So molecules that have been used to study evolution are cytochrome C that is in respiratory pathway and rRNA that is protein synthesis. So they have the evolution that is cytochrome and rRNA. So thank you for watching the video. If you want to watch this video in Tamil language, Tamil version, you can, uh, I have given the link in the description box. You can go to the link. I click the link and you can watch the Tamil version also. Uh, I hope you understand the topic. If you like the video, give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel.